Hey guys, today I want to answer the following question. Some people on their iPad, they can't find the Relight feature and the Depth Map feature. Those are two features that we got an 18.5 for DaVinci Resolve, the studio version. But somehow, because I made even a video here on my channel where I explained you how you can use Relight, it doesn't work anymore. And even on my iPad, I can't find it anymore. And so what I found is there is a document from Blackmagic. It's this one here, Studio and iPad Features, DaVinci Resolve. And it actually shows you all of the different features that we can have on our iPad. So it shows you which one is available on the desktop, which one is available on the M1 and M2 iPad Pros or the M1 iPad Air, and which one is not available. It's basically, they show you which one is excluded on the non M1 and M2 iPads. But the funny thing is, and this is basically also the answer because when you go through this document, and I will also put a link here in the description if you wanna go through that yourself, there's a couple of interesting features. If you have the studio version on your iPad, okay, it works. And some other stuff, it doesn't work. So it shows you all of them. But to answer the question about those two effects that were available in the update before, we have to come here to the Resolve FX. And if we look here, we see here Relight and also here Death Map. And both of them have, so first of all, you need to have an M1 or M2 chip. It doesn't work at all on the older iPads. And then now here is a number eight. If we scroll down and we look at number eight here, needs an iPad Pro with 16 gigabyte of RAM. So the reason why it doesn't show on my M1 iPad anymore is because those two features will only be available if you have the 16 gigabyte RAM version. So which one has the 16 gigabyte? How many RAM do I have? I made a video in the past where I explained that already, but basically with the iPads at the moment for the M1 and M2, it works like this. If you got a one terabyte or higher, so the one terabyte or two terabyte storage option, you also have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So that means you can also use more RAM in DaVinci Resolve. I have a video here on my channel where I explain you how you can get more resources, more power for DaVinci Resolve. If it's lagging, for example, I will copy a link into this video as well. But basically the reason why most iPads cannot see the Relight and the depth map is number one, you don't even have an M1 or M2 chip iPad. So it doesn't show at all. And if you have the studio version on M1 or M2, you need at least 16 gigabytes. So now we can argue why is it like this or why not is probably like when I use Relight, sometimes it crashed, sometimes not. So I guess they just wanted to make sure that this function is working properly. And that's why they reduced it to just 16 gigabytes. But it also means I can't even use it now on my iPad. If you have a 16 gigabyte iPad, then it will work on your end. Anyway, that's it from today. I just wanted to show you that. There's a link in the description to this one document. It's very interesting what we can actually do and what not. And it could be if you're missing one feature in this list, you will see which one is available and which one not. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding and a bang bang gong. And we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye.